Hey, it's Hannah here, and this video shows my horse's, horse India's first ever go at a pirouette. Now, to understand what's going on in the video, it's important to understand a few of the things we've done before this point. So when I'm teaching horses about movement, they kind of break it down into, there are six different elements, and these basically become cues for six different, um, to move the body in six different ways. And these form the basis of all other movements. So the first one, um, that I tend to teach, and this is after you've got a kind of base level of relaxation, is I call it high, light and slow. So it's shifting the weight onto the quarters, lifting the head a little bit and lightening the shoulders. Um, and it's kind of a little bit of a rebalancing half halt, but just to steady and um, rebalance and distribute the weight more over the hind quarters. The next one is to then from there to encourage them to get the head um, down and forwards to lengthen the spine and lengthen the stride while maintaining that engagement um, of the abdominals and the push from the quarters. I work on soft responsive turning, so that's listening to my aids. Now this is a mixture of internal and external cues, so the internal cues are the ones that come from my body like my weight aids and the external cues are the ones that I teach like following the rein aids and the leg aids. So soft responsive turning, lateral flexion, so this is bending through the body, through the neck predominantly and also through the body. Obviously that um, the lateral flexion through the neck are mostly from a rein cue and then moving the shoulders over and moving the quarters over. So you begin, this is all very progressive, you can begin in hand and then move into ridden. Um, so lifting and slowing and then lengthening, asking the horse to turn, to bend, um, and then things like turn on the forehand, um, leg yield, turn on the haunches, all these different things to start to isolate the different body parts. While I'm teaching it, obviously I make it really reinforcing. So we use targets and poles and objects to help explain it to the horse and for, to make their learning really reinforcing and so that they truly understand what it is that we're asking for. So now to show you the pirouette. Obviously up to this point India has done a lot of these different elements already um, and you can see how they start to work and the communication comes into play as we start to work on the pirouette. So the first thing that's really important here is that she lifts and lightens and slows, that she starts to take the weight more on the hindquarters, that she engages the abs, lightens the shoulders um, and really steadies. So that's the, the first piece that I ask for. Then I ask for um, a bit of the shoulder movement because that's going to be a really key piece that she's weighting the hind quarters and moving the shoulders. So the way that is the easiest way to do this and the way she's done it in the past is to teach a counter flexion. So that means that in this instance she's bent slightly to the left while she's moving the shoulders to the right. So to begin with we practice that um, just to get her into the idea of keeping the weight on the quarters, moving the shoulders over. To turn that into a pirouette, it's really simple. All I have to do is change the bend. All of the other cues stay the same. So the changing the bend is simply then asking for a little bit of flexion in the other direction. So she's still lifting and lightening and slowing, taking the weight on the quarters, move, moving the shoulders to the right. But this time, instead of bending slightly left, I'm gonna ask for the cue to bend slightly right. I'll ask for that again, and then it's just a case of switching the flexion just to the inside side a little bit. Okay, so again, sit high, weight on the quarters, off the shoulders, and then starting to ask for the flexion to the inside. Good. Whoop, you can see how much harder that is for her. We'll come around and try that again. You got it? Okay. Sit. I'm sitting back, engaging, moving the shoulders over. Yeah, brilliant, see that one step, really good. So because she's got the idea of really um, sitting back and taking the weight mostly on this um, inside hind and stepping the, sh the shoulders across, just by then, we'll do it again small here. That's it, we're doing this one, that's it. And then I can just ask for, yeah, good. And oh, we lost the quarters at the end, but it's coming. You can see starting to play with just then changing the flexion. And that's really the value of having all these different cues for all the different body parts. This is where having a marker signal and the rewards really come into play. You can see that India is consciously thinking about what it is that she's doing. And as soon as she gets that movement, I can mark it and reinforce it so that she knows it, she understands it, and she can repeat it again in future. So it becomes a real conversation between the two of us as we try and work it out together rather than me trying to make her do something. The two of us are kind of puzzling this out um, between us and having a really enjoyable time as we do it.